Hello, in this home revision tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the skin modifier from Blender 2.8. It's kind of simple. So here I have a brand new scene. Bam, right? Comes with a cube. I have the cube selected. And first I want to make sure I go down to just one vertice. So I'm going to merge the vertices of whatever this model is here. Merge vertices. And I'll just merge them into one vertice located right at the center. And if I zoom into that. There's that one vertice there. Now I could extrude that one vertice. I'm still in edit mode. I could just press the E or I could press this extrude thing. And I could just keep moving some vertices along the way here, bending if I want to. And I could even pick one from the middle here and also extrude out something else, kind of like tree branches, right? Now that's real skinny. It's not a model yet. There's no. Um, geometry around it, but I could go over here to the modifiers. I'm still in edit mode. I could add a modifier and right here I have skin and I add that and then boom, I got some skin on my plant here and it's kind of uh, tight. I could still with the skin modifier on edit the vertices from the skin thing. I could click on something and go to the move and stretch some of these out a little bit further if I wanted to. And I think there's one in here and so I can't see because it's solid, but I could turn it to wireframe mode so I could see the points that I I did do stuff from if I want to. And you can see how the um the mesh is just forming itself around wherever I put the vertice on. That's the skin option actually at work. Alright, so if I am viewing this um, and I want to make a tree, I guess this is a great idea. But the other thing is if I want some of them to be like the tree to be fatter at the bottom, what I could do is I select that vertice at the bottom. Let me go back to wireframe and I don't know what the actual menu thing is from the toolbar, but I, I only know that there's a shortcut key to press control a with the selected thing. And then I could scale the skin around that vertex. So I could let's like make the bottom fatter. Then I could pick something in here. I'd press control A and uh oh. Uh, maybe not that one. Control escape. Let me see. Why did that one have such a problem? Maybe because it's like joined up with some other stuff. Control A. And I could control the thinness or thickness around a certain vertice. Here at the edges, control A, I could, oh, this is a very sensitive thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me see. I, I'll use this right here instead and do it manually. There, I could shrink it on the different axes. There you go. Yeah. So that's how I could, like, control this scale. Let me do control A. And be very careful with the mouse. There you go. And then if I view it in solid mode, I could do something like that. Now, of course, I could do something even better than a tree branch. I could, like, do half a human. But that's how you use the skin modifier. And then if I wanted to apply those changes, I just go back to object mode and apply. And now the skin modifier is gone. This is my object. Bam. And you see the skin um, bones are gone. There you go.